Hello everyone and happy Thanksgiving to all my viewers that celebrate this special day, certainly in America and I believe Canada also celebrate Thanksgiving but I think you Canadians have it on a different day to your American cousins but wherever you live, whatever day it is, happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. Okay, well to mark Thanksgiving on my channel I'm going to show you an American vacuum, not just an American made vacuum but an American vacuum that's come all the way from America, yes. It's another American import for you. I haven't imported a vacuum cleaner for quite a while and I thought it was time I imported another one. It's in a, a sturdy Home Depot box, so hopefully it's arrived intact. So without any further ado, let's open the box and see what's inside. Even though I live in the UK, I am aware of Home Depot, but we don't have this store in the United Kingdom. Home Depot, how doers get more done. Okie dokie. Now, this came from eBay and apparently I bought from this same seller. I didn't know, but the seller said that I've bought a vacuum cleaner from them before. I'm not sure which one it was. This will have been opened up for a customs inspection and, and that's when things go missing. Unfortunately, I've had American cleaners sent to me with big holes in them or complete parts missing. This will be in two parts. So hopefully both parts are in here because I won't be able to get another handle. Right. Here we go. Hmm. Looks a different colour to how it looked in the pictures, but uh, never mind. It's as long, as long as this cleaner is intact and works. Oh well, the handle the handle is partly attached. It's it's been dismantled to fit in this small box, but it's actually attached to the machine via an electrical cable. So we have some genuine pack of three Hoover. A type bags. Of course I can get uh, bags to fit this machine in the UK. So here it is, it's a Hoover Concept 1. This is my third Concept 1. I've got uh, two previous Concept 1 cleaners and one Concept 2. One of the Concept 1's I opened ages ago, it still doesn't work, it's something I need to look at. This is a Concept One without power drive. Mmm, I can see it has faded. I thought it looked a bit green. It shouldn't be this green. It should be more blue. Right, is that everything? That's a nice sturdy box, I'll be keeping that. A vinyl bag. Yeah, so far the cleaner looks in reasonable condition, but yes, it's definitely it's definitely gone a different colour, and we can see the original colour just here. It should be this blue. Now I've had success recently with retro brighting using an oxygen-based stain remover meant for washing clothes. So I'm sure I can get this more blue. The only trouble is by soaking this in the water, I don't want to risk damaging the decal here. It's already a little bit uh, damaged, but not too bad. But if I was to soak that for any length of time, that might come off. Now I've got to attach the handle, and I believe, I think the seller said something about the screws for the handle will be behind the fill tube, so I'll just have to release it. This is designed to come off easily in case the cleaner develops a blockage. It should come off, come on, wiggle wiggle, there we are. Oh. And yes, there are two screws, so I just need to get a flathead screwdriver. I think I have to remove them or just loosen them. Possibly, yes, I have to remove them entirely. So that's the top one. I don't know if they're the same, they might be. 
and I'll make sure they go back in the same holes. They look the same, I think. Come on, out you come. Right, so I can push the handle in. I've got to make sure I don't trap the wire. Now this was fairly cheap to buy. I think it was about 45 of uh, your earth pounds. Yes, 40, about 45 pounds. But obviously, once shipping and customs charges are taken into account, then it's, ooh, do I fold it like that? Seems a bit odd. Perhaps I do have to, oh, I don't know. Was it that way? It's got to be that way. But concept ones are extremely rare in the UK. We did get two models. We got a normal concept one, quite similar to this, without power drive. And then we got the Hoover concept one power drive. They didn't last long. I think they were brought into the UK when Hoover had an industrial action in their UK factories. So there were a few American made machines that uh, Hoover imported to fill the gap in production and the concept ones were two and obviously I had them both oh that's it there there we go that's in um yes when I first moved to York I've told this story before but for any benefit of anyone who hasn't heard it when I first moved to York in 1986 Oh, that's broken. Oh, that's marvellous. It's not marvellous. Right, I'll show you what's broken in a minute. Oh, I'll have to look in the box. Oh, that is terrible. Right, I'll sh Heck. That's not good. Right, um, on with the story. So, 1986, moved to York. One of the first shopping trips into town, into York Town Centre. We went to this department store called Victoria House. And obviously I wanted to look at the vacuums and the electrical department at that time was upstairs. So I remember going up the escalator and there was a display of vacuums at the top of the escalator. And what should I see in 1986 but a Hoover Concept 1 priced at £58. And it was, it was discontinued by then. A few years it had been discontinued. Oops. Pardon me for that noise. Anyway, obviously I had to have it, so I pleaded with my parents and I got it. And it was the display model, they didn't have any more, but it was brand new. And then later on, I think I managed to get a power drive version from somewhere. Not new though. But I don't have either of those cleaners anymore, so the cheapest way, even with the import charges and everything, the cheapest way to own a Concept One in the UK is to import it. And obviously you have to have a step down transformer. Now I've just spotted something that's damaged that's really not very good. I don't know if the part's in the box or when they opened this the people, the customs people decided to break it for a laugh, I don't know. I might as well shove one of these bags in for the initial switch on. This is just a single layer by the looks. Is it single layered? Throwaway filter bag type A. I think it's just a single paper layer. Got to put your finger in the hole. Yeah, I think it is. So that pushes on. You can tuck the bag in. I'll have to look on the uh, listing. It didn't mention anything about there being anything broken because there's something broken on this and it's quite a vital piece. So I'm not sure what I'll do to fix that. Mm, it's possible I might get one on eBay, but it's well, quite doubtful. Let's do up the vinyl outer. It's very creased up, but I mean, it will eventually go a bit better than that. You can't iron this, obviously it's made of plastic. Yeah, what we're missing is the hook at the top. You can see here, there should be a little hook that you hook the spring over. So, yeah, if that's attached via a little hole, which I assume it is, I might be able to put a little screw in there or something 
just so it holds it up. But that's a shame that that's uh, broken. As I said, it, it didn't mention it was broken in the listing, so I'll check the box later on and see if that part's in the box. So, here it is. Much, much lighter. It's still a fairly hefty machine, but certainly lighter than the power drive version because this doesn't have the self-propelled gubbins. There's a few scratches, not too deep. It'll polish up well. I'm hoping I'll be able to restore the colour because the, the, the original colour is very nice. I mean, it still looks okay in this colour, but you can see when the bag does look a bit out of place. And I suspect, possibly, that might be the correct colour of the front piece here. But, um, yeah, I had a feeling when I saw the picture that this had gone a bit uh, a bit green, vacuum gangrene, it's, it's deadly. So this is the Concept One with Quadraflex Agitator. Tilt the unit forward to ease adjustment and it's got self-adjusting ranges. So the self-adjusting range, that's a bit stiff, it's all going to need stripping and cleaning. We've got low to medium and then plush, which is the carpet I'm kneading on now. I'd class that as a plush pile but I might have to put it on the shag setting, which isn't in the self-adjusting range, I don't think. Once it's in the shag, it, it stays in the higher position. I don't know if the machine... No, that is quite high off the ground, actually. I can get my fingers right in there. So I think that's going to be too high. So I think it will have to go on the plush setting. This little slot here at the front, that's where you'd connect the optional pan converter to use this machine for above floor with a set of tools. This cleaner has a headlight. It's either got one or two bulbs. But underneath this panel, it is a light. I don't know if it's going to work. I very much doubt the headlight will work, but you never know. Ah, oh, yes, I can see now, look. That's the proper, you can see the combination of the colors now. Let's just lower the handle a bit. You can see a definite colour change here. We've got this greeny colour and then this nice pastel blue. Uh, well, you can definitely see it here, can't you? But anyway, it's possible I'll be able to do something. Oh, it's missing. It's a shame. There weren't very good photographs. This should have a decal here. I'm not sure what it would say, but it would have had a, a, a doobry, something on there. Automatic cord rewind. And I believe the seller did say that the flex was intact. That's the problem with the other Concept One I've got. It didn't work. It worked briefly and it had several nicks in the cable. So I'm hoping to fix that. This is a nice smooth action as I'm pulling it out and I'm, and I'm also examining the cable. And the cable does indeed look very good. It's a nice long cable going on forever it's nearly at the end I think yes there we go I'll just let it in there's a button here on the top to rewind and at the back we've just got the single handle release button on some of the concept ones I've got and certainly on I think on the concept 2 electronic it's got dual handle release so if you're left or right-handed whichever foot you want to put on the uh, handle release button you can use, you know, your left or right leg. But we've just got one on this. So we can lower the handle to the operating position and it stays in that position until we press the button again for cleaning under low furniture. On the top of the bag, we've got the air freshener control, adjustment for minimum or maximum fragrance, obviously, just like the air fresheners in UK made hoovers made no difference what setting you had it on I wonder if it's got one in oh, it has looks like a big extra strong mint I'll give it a sniff oof ooh, not very nice sort of stale aftershave on a sweaty uncle yuck I've got some auric ones I think oops that's come out I think the auric ones will fit that you can see how it fits in so that will have lost most of its aroma. 
Let's get it back in there. That's it. And of course, I can't, I can't clip that up where it should go because the hook's broken, so I'll just have to leave that loose. Okay, let's have a look at the underside of this cleaner. Underneath looks fairly clean and tidy. Instead of the power drive mechanism with the two wheels either side, they've got the tyres on for extra grip and all the other gubbins that make up the power drive. Obviously, this is a non-self-propelled version, so we've just got two wheels. Oh, I thought that was a, I thought that was an American spider about to get me. And then we've got two wheels at the back, all intact, very good. And the Quadraflex agitator, I do have some spare brushes. They're very hard to get hold of, and I think I'll have to use one of my spare pairs of brushes for this because these are quite worn. But that feels quite smooth as I'm moving that. So hopefully the motor will sound okay. We can take off the base plate without tools. The UK version, you had to undo screws to access the agitator. Whoops, don't you break on me. There we are. I think that belt's fine. It might have had a new belt fitted. So just a single belt on the non-power drive version. Obviously the power drive version had an extra belt that uh, drove the mechanism in the middle. But that seems pretty good. And here we've got the clean out port if it gets blocked. You can have a, have a look in there. I don't really want to put my fingers in there. Now, I don't know what, what could be any poisonous spider could have got in there, I'm not sure. But it looks, oh there we go, that's better. I can see it on my viewfinder, it looks clear. So there's that, so that looks pretty good. So if the motor is okay, um, it's just cosmetic improvements I need to make. Let's get this back on. There we are, that's it. Do the clips up and we'll have a look at the rating plate. This is Hoover Cleaner model U4219, 120 volts, 60 hertz, AC only. 6.4 amps, bag type A, serial number is 00061945 and it gives you the belt part number there as well. The Hoover Company, North Canton, Ohio, made in USA. Okie dokie, well I think it's almost time for the switch on. And I think, is this a two speed? Oh no, it does have power surge. I didn't show you the on off switch, did I? I'll just show you that quickly. Here's the on-off switch in the off position. So off and then the middle setting is on and the power surge feature, you have to keep your finger on the button to keep it in the lowest position just for an extra boost of power. When you take your finger off or your thumb in this case, it will revert back to the regular setting. So I'll put it in the on position plug it in and see if this Concept One works. Some of you watching will know that the UK uses a 240 volt main supply as opposed to 120 volts that this Hoover Concept One will run at. Also, this two pin plug will not fit into a three pin socket outlet that we have in the UK. So I have to use a special magic box. This is my black box, my box of tricks that converts the 240 volt input back into 120 volts so I can use this machine. So on the back we've got two American style sockets including a third hole if I was to get a grounded vacuum and I do have some of those. And I also need to plug the mains lead into there. So we can plug the Concept 1 into there, plug this box in, switch on and hope for the best. That sounded okay to me, noisy, but then these cleaners are fairly noisy. And I'm also, because the hook's broken at the top, I believe there is normally, when the hook's intact, not only has a hook to support the bag, but I'm sure it has a little groove to put the mains cable in to keep it out of the way. Right, I'll switch off, switch on again at my black box. 
and we'll give this another go. It's not live, but right, I'll put it on the. Mm, it's on. I better put it on the plush setting. And we'll uh, give this Hoover Concept One a push. Well, she's a noisy beast. My neighbours are certainly going to know when I'm vacuuming with this Hoover Concept 1. So very, very noisy and pretty hard to push, actually. The power drive feature on my self-propelled versions certainly makes a difference pushing it across my plush pile carpet. I found the bits so it wasn't broken when the machine was packed. But we can see I found the two bits that are broken off. So with some very, very strong glue, it is possible that I could fix it. But obviously when storing this cleaner away, I'll unhook the bag. I'm not sure if it's going to hold, but I'll give it a go. That's the end of my short Thanksgiving video on this Hoover Concept 1. She does sound a bit rough. She does need a bit of TLC. But I'm pleased to have another Concept 1 in the collection. There won't be many of these in the UK, certainly not American ones. Even the official UK ones are very, very rare. As rare as rocking horse poo, as they say, or as rare as an honest politician. But nice to have another one. I don't think I'll bother getting another Concept 1 or 2. I've got enough now. I've got four in total. That's enough for my collection. They're all pretty much of a muchness. Obviously I've got, uh, this would be the bottom of the range in my collection and the top model is the Concept 2 Electronic. Another machine I was very pleased to get. We never got the Concept 2 in the UK. We just got the two Concept 1s, the non-power drive version and a power drive version. But yes, very pleased to have another 80s cleaner. I'm not sure exactly when this is from, so my American viewers, if you'd like to comment below, when this machine was actually made, judging by the serial number. But it's sort of mid 80s, I'd say. And obviously there was no headlight working, so I'm gonna have to look at the bulbs for that to get this working properly. And um, just sounds a little bit too noisy. So if you've got any hints or tips to make this cleaner a bit quieter, is it dry bearings? What What is it? I'll be very grateful for any comments below. So happy Thanksgiving to all of you, and I'll see you very soon for the next video. Bye for now.